Hello everybody, how is everybody today? I am going to wait till everybody gets on board with us. I'm gonna make a cheesy skillet bread tonight. And I'm gonna make, it's snowing outside. So I am gonna make some chili. And since we can't do cornbread anymore, we are gonna do cheesy skillet bread, and it is so good. So welcome everybody that, that's coming on. I'm gonna try to find my video here. Hi, Janet, how are you? Hi, Jean, hi, Gina. If you're just coming on, say hi to me, please. I really appreciate it. And if you would be so kind as to go to the bottom and share. So, hello, thank you for the love. Hi, Susie. Um, and um, share it so that I can teach some other people how to make some keto cornbread. Not cornbread, okay? It's not gonna be cornbread, it's called skillet bread, but so good, so good. Hello, everybody coming on, hi, Ariella. Did I say that right? I hate when I murder people's names. Thank you, Janet, I really appreciate it. Thank you, Susie. I'm gonna adjust my camera one second, just so that you guys aren't looking at a ceiling. There, that, and then you can get a better visual. There we go, sorry to get out of camera shot there. Thank you everybody's coming on. Hi, Stacy. Is that better? You won't be seeing ceiling and you can see more of my, of my uh, countertop here. Okay, so she's a skillet bread. Uh, super easy. I'm going to get the skillet out of the oven real quick. So I preheated, so I have a iron skillet, kind of like grandma's, except this is a new one. I think my mom has my grandmother's iron skillets. So I have an iron skillet. I melted a tablespoon of butter in it. Hi, everybody coming on. Thank you, thank you. Sorry I got a little behind. Our kids came over and so got a little, had a little late Christmas with some of them. So uh, they are trying to stay quiet down in the basement, so we'll see what happens. <gasps> thank you for the love, whoever's joining me. Okay, so ingredients. So we have a tablespoon of butter in the skillet. We have two cups of almond flour, that good old almond flour. Costco, it's like $15, I think Costco, $16. Um, we're gonna use two cups of almond flour. Thank you for the love, everybody. If you're just coming on, say hi. Share, please. Share, I love making new friends and, and influencing people to my Peter way of life. Hi, Diane. Okay, so then we're gonna take a half a cup of flaxseed meal, which y'all haven't seen me do anything with flaxseed before. And the flaxseed kind of mimics the cornmeal that we can't use, so really, really good. And then we're gonna have our good old baking powder. Hi, Sandy. It's baking powder, gluten-free, Trader Joe's, Whole Foods. We're gonna uh, use salt, good old sea salt. We're gonna use uh, cheddar cheese. And it calls for one and a half cups, but I may have done a little too much. <laughs> and I always use the food processor, processor you guys. I never, ever, ever buy cheese pre-grated. Don't do it. It's got preservatives and junk in it. It costs you more. So buy it, shred it. Um, I, I'll do this and I'll shred it ahead of time for us because I know we'll use it. And I'll just put it in an airtight container in the refrigerator. So, you know, if we're making something quick, we need some grated shredder cheese. Hi, Pam. Okay, if you're just coming on, say hi, please. It's kind of a bad time, I guess. Okay, then we're gonna use um, three large eggs. Okay, and these are large, cage-free, organic. Then we're gonna use a half a cup of melted butter, which I have here, I'm gonna melt in a second, and three quarters cup of almond milk. And I have almond breeze, um, that's what I had. I don't necessarily like it. I'm not a fan of almond milk to begin with, but um, that's what we have. Okay, anybody coming on? Hi, Amy. Okay, I've lost some of you all already. That's not good. Okay, so we're gonna get started. The oven is preheated to 425 degrees, 
and it's going to cook for 16 to 20 minutes depending on your oven. So um, first we're going to just take uh, the almond flour, the flaxseed meal, the baking powder, and a cup of the shredded cheese and mix all this up. And then we're going to do the eggs and the butter. Hi everybody coming on. Hello Don. We all say hi. And please share for me. I would certainly appreciate it. I'm kind of playing with different times to see when people are available and when they're not. So if you guys can share, that would really help me. Alrighty, we're gonna take two cups of almond flour. I guess I could have done this ahead of time, huh? Too busy drinking champagne with the kids. How is everybody today? What are you guys doing on a Saturday? It's snowing here, which we haven't had a whole lot of snow this year, which is kind of sad to me. I'm not a fan of snow after like March, but I, I wanted to snow in December and January and then be done by March, but I don't know. Nature has another has another idea for us today, this year, I guess, because I hear everybody's got crazy weather right now. Okay, almond flour. Two cups of almond flour. We're gonna use a half a cup of flaxseed meal. And again, flaxseed has a little bit of a texture to it. So it's kind of like, it almost looks like the, the uh, wood shavings when Dad's been doing a project. But that, and it's, you know, it's gonna move things around for us a little bit. In keto, the, when you drink ketones, you don't really need a whole lot of that. Okay, so we're gonna do a half a cup of the flaxseed. And again, it really looks, it's gonna have some texture. So that's gonna help us have that cornbread feel. Negative 22, Sandy? Or the feel of it? Ugh. 60 degrees isn't that sunny, Diane. <laughs> I know Doug's headed to the lake tomorrow to work on, on uh, one of the boats, and it's like 50 degrees. It's like you can't, if it was warmer there, I might have just uh, joined him, but I'm not. Okay, so then we're gonna do two teaspoons of baking powder. One. buy some more baking powder soon. Half a teaspoon of salt. Upstate New York, I bet. But still, that's like crazy. Even here, we don't get that cold. Okay, gonna do my little handy dandy salt mill here that takes a while. Thanks for the love, y'all. And don't forget to share, come out, say hi. Want to get more people excited about keto. And see how easy it is, y'all. It's not, it's really not hard. When people ask me, what do you eat? Pretty much what I want. That doesn't include, you know, bread. I mean, seriously, I, I pretty much eat what I want to eat. Okay, so we're going to mix this up. Everybody coming on, say hi. I sound like a broken record sometimes. This light is hot tonight. Okay, so we're gonna take, we got all the dry ingredients mixed up and we're gonna take a cup of our shredded cheese. Hey Paisley. Paisley's like waiting for me to drop some cheese. Now we are going to Take your three eggs, and I like to keep eggs at room temperature when I'm ready to cook. So these have been sitting out a little while. 23 degrees in Florida. That is nuts. It's better than all the humidity, isn't it? You, do you guys even know have clothes to wear in 23 degrees? I think it's about 30 something here right now. Um, if it gets too cold, it won't snow here. So um, usually it's around 30, 30 degrees when it snows, 20. Okay, so we have our eggs. 
and we're gonna mix these up. Our half a cup of butter, or one stick of butter is, is done in the microwave. Can I make any more noise? No. Can't make any more noise. Okay, we got the hot skillet. We're gonna stir the eggs, the melted butter, and the almond milk until it's thoroughly combined, and then we're going to um, mix it all up. Hi, Monica. Thanks for joining me, girly friend. How are you? Are you ready for our challenge? Okay, three quarters cup of almond milk. And you could, I, I would imagine you can use coconut milk, but because you're using almond flour, it kind of makes sense, I guess. So, um, and that's, I don't know. Make sure you use the unsweetened almond milk if you're gonna use, if you're gonna do almond milk. So you're gonna mix this up, we're gonna add the butter, and we are just gonna mix it all up. See how easy that is? It's super easy, and it is so good. I used this, I made a batch of this before Thanksgiving. I went to the store, came back and dug it, eaten it for lunch. I had made it for Thanksgiving to put in our dressing. But this is perfect for if you just want to, um, if, if you want to have soup, you know, if you're gonna make some soup. Uh, it's perfect for chili, because you can put the chili over it. Okay, that's it. That's all there is to it. So we're just gonna mix all of the this up together. Got people messaging me. Okay, super easy. I meant to make some chocolate chip cookies today, but it didn't get done yet. I had tons of packages to get out to y'all, and I was hoping that the mailman was gonna make it up here, a UPS truck, but they haven't for the tea. And I'm really disappointed because I really wanted the tea. That is it. Can it be any simpler than that? Thanks for the love, y'all. Of course, I forgot the spatula this time. Okay, we're just gonna put this in here. Pan is cool now. And then we're gonna top it with more cheese. You guys, can you guys see that? consistency of it and the baking powder you use baking powder in so much keto cooking because it helps it to rise it's, you know a lot of these things in breads and stuff we're not using yeast because yeast needs sugar in order to work so um, it's an activator for uh, the yeast so since we don't use sugar yeast doesn't work very well so I know sometimes people have used the yeast a little bit and tried to activate it um, with other methods. Never tried it. Hi, Iris, how are you doing, doll? Okay, that is it. We take another half a cup of, which, you know, half a cup, around there somewhere. We don't worry too much about calories. We don't worry too much about about the fat grams, um, we just, when you have ketones, you have all the excuse in the world to just improvise a little bit. Hi, Debbie. All right, so keto, believe it or not, it's done. Seriously, it's done. And I don't know if you guys can see it. So that's gonna cook for 16 to 20 minutes at 425 and then once this is done I will post a picture of it and I um, so this each serving of this has 7.2 grams of carbs 4 grams of fiber for a net of 3.2 grams of carbs right one slice 3.2 grams of carbs I mean come on you can't beat that can you hi Cammy. Okay, anybody have any questions? That's it, that's all there is to it. I'm gonna make some keto chili that I posted on our group page earlier, um, and it's gonna be so good. So 
So with chili, we can do chili, y'all. You just don't want the beans. And because we're in maintenance, thank you for all the hearts. I appreciate it. I don't know who's on and doing all the hearts, but thank you. Um, because we're in maintenance, we don't worry too much about the beans. Beans are inflammatory. So in, in keto, you try not to eat beans. But we do occasionally. So I may put like a half a can of black beans in this dish, um, but they are inflammatory. So if, you, if you're just starting keto, that's not a good way to go. Oh, thanks, Cammy. It was really quick. I mean, seriously, I think I've been on uh, 10 minutes. That's how fast this is. So it doesn't take long at all. Yes, all beans, Janet. You can't, um, Beans are bad. Beans are very oh. inflammatory. And that's why it's hard for a lot of vegetarians or vegans to do keto because that's the base of their diet, but it's also the base of a lot of inflammation in our lives. And inflammation can go from our guts to our brains, which the brain fog and the, and the tummy issues and the IBS and all of those things are from inflammation, our joint issues. Um, those, are, those are from inflammation. So. Um, they're, they're best to get them, keep them out of your diet. So easy, right? Okay, y'all have any questions? You're welcome, Susie. Okay, I'm gonna go, y'all. Thank you for joining me. I'm gonna go have another glass of champagne with my kiddos and um, get this in the oven. I'll post it in... Uh, 15 minutes or so. It says it's supposed to cool for 15 minutes. I never let anything cool for 15 minutes. I always have to have a bite and melt the butter on the top. And remember, we're gonna slather this in butter when it's done. And it's just sweet enough with the almond flour to be like eating cornbread. Okay, y'all, thanks a lot for joining me.